Have you ever wondered when the next big earthquake might hit California? That thought often evokes a sense of dread, doesn't it? California often referred to as the Golden State, known for its sun-kissed beaches and stunning landscapes, is unfortunately perched precariously on an active zone. This in essence makes it akin to a ticking time bomb, one that could set off destructive tremors without any warning. This region, as picturesque as it may be, is one of the most seismically active areas across the globe. Its history is punctuated with countless incidents of devastating earthquakes that have resulted in turmoil and panic. It's a testament to the state's resilience, its ability to bounce back and rebuild, that the residents have continued to thrive despite the looming threat of the next big quake. The inevitable query is not about the possibility of an earthquake, but about its timing. When will the next big hit? And it is this uneasy anticipation that we wish to delve into through this video. From understanding the inherent geology of California to asking vital questions about disaster preparedness, we will explore this unsettling reality. Despite the fear, life goes on, as it always does. But the question that lingers in the back of our minds is, are we prepared enough for the big one? California's earthquake history dates back to the early days of its settlement. We embark on this journey in 1769, the year of the first documented earthquake in California. The land was untamed and its inhabitants were caught off guard when the earth started to rumble beneath them. With the dawning of the 19th century came notable tremors. The Wrightwood earthquake of 1812 was a destructive force, leaving a path of ruin in its wake. It was a stark reminder for the settlers of the volatile nature of the territory they called home. The next significant chapter in California's seismic history was the Fort Tejon earthquake in 1857. This quake's intensity shocked the population in every sense causing extensive damage and inciting fear among the people. Its effects were felt over vast distances. Early tremors were just a prelude to what was to come, and they were the first inklings of the seismic forces that would persistently sculpt California's history. The 20th century brought with it some of the most devastating earthquakes California has ever seen. Delving into history, we find 1906 as the pinnacle of catastrophe for San Francisco, with an earthquake of a massive 7.8 magnitude on the Richter scale. The aftermath was equally ravaging, fires spread across the city, destroying over 28,000 buildings and claiming over 3,000 lives. Advancing to 1933, we experienced the Long Beach earthquake, another significant seismic event for Southern California, measuring 6.4 on the Richter scale, causing widespread damage and unfortunately, a loss of 120 lives. A few decades later in 1971, the Silmar earthquake struck, jolting Los Angeles County residents awake from their slumber with a magnitude of 6.6, .6, crumbling numerous structures, including the newly constructed Olive View Medical Center, and resulting in 64 fatalities. Such cataclysmic events served as wake-up calls, instigating enhancements in building codes and earthquake readiness. The state introduced stringent regulations and buildings were redesigned to resist severe tremors, marking a considerable and vital stride towards a safer future for Californians. Yet, as history has taught, even the most meticulous preparation can't always prevent disaster. The question isn't if the big one will hit, but when. An unsettling reality, isn't it? This is the seismic future of California we're facing. The San Andreas Fault, a tectonic boundary exceeding 800 miles, has been suspiciously calm. It's a ticking bomb, and the countdown has begun. Scientists have been examining this fault for years, to predict when the next colossal quake, ominously tagged as the big one, might strike. Using advanced technology and simulations, they've constructed potential scenarios for the aftermath. Envision an earthquake with a magnitude of 8 or more on the Richter scale, lasting for minutes, rendering catastrophic damage to infrastructure, disrupting power and communication, and stretching emergency services to their limits. It's a bleak scenario, but one we must confront head-on. On the brighter side, California has been bolstering its preparedness, investing in early warning systems, retrofitting buildings for greater resilience, and raising public awareness on the right responses. It's a monumental task, potentially life-saving when disaster strikes. However, the work isn't over. We can't forecast earthquakes with complete certainty, nor can we avert them. But we can prepare. We can construct sturdier, more intelligent. We can empower ourselves and our neighbors on how to react when the ground trembles. Most importantly, we must remember, while the earth may tremble, our determination shouldn't. 
While we can't prevent earthquakes, we can prepare for them. The history of earthquakes in California teaches us that.